partners. There's three main partners here at Madison Commercial Real Estate. And I have to say LLC. I got to say that for my <laughs> lawyer. Or I get in trouble. And we're a uh, pretty much a full service commercial real estate firm here on the south of Hey, I was in the music industry until I was. 37 years of age. I worked with major rock bands. I was a tour manager for Motley Crue and Cheap Trick and Judas Priest and things like that. And then after 9-11, the whole business changed <clears throat> and I needed to, you know, I had a wife and kids at home and um, I didn't want to tour anymore. So I I had grown up in a, in a residential brokerage. My parents did what you guys do. And, you know, that was in Northern Colorado and it was just, I, I, it didn't turn me on. You know, things were so loosey goosey back then, and the business was so different back then. And so, after 9 11 took place, I, I decided that I needed to come home and, and grow up and, you know, be a dad mm -hmm. and all that. And so, um, I decided to, uh, I reached out to business owners and tried to, and just asked them, you know, for 20 minutes of their time. Let me give them a rundown on my background and all that, and what would they suggest I do? And the third guy that I sat down with um, owns a, a commercial real estate firm and owns several uh, shopping center properties. And apparently he was using different brokers from different houses all over the state. He and I hit it off about that because I told him as I traveled around the world, I used to love going to outdoor shopping areas and, and seeing how it works and, and the synergy and all that kind of stuff. He came up with the idea, why am I have, well, hiring all these outside brokers when I could go in-house? And I never even thought about commercial real estate until that conversation. It kind of snowballed from there. He offered me a position. I got my real estate license and then turned right around. Back then you could turn right around and get your, your broker's license. I stayed with Sarah Investments for two and a half years. And then I went to Inland Companies. Inland Companies became part of Collier's for, I think, six years. And then they decided to um, close their Madison office. And me and Jen, and there was a couple other people with us at the time, we were like, well, what the hell are we gonna do? So we decided we're gonna start this. So yeah, it was, it was kind of a, a, a crazy ride. So I've been doing this now for 20 years. I, I uh, got out of rock and roll on, did my last Motley show on Memorial Day 2002. And then I started this in August of 2002. So I've been doing that for 20 years now. One, two, three, four, five, six separate businesses. We're independent businesses. Uh, for instance, we have Cater Property Management. Cater does uh, apartments and student housing mm -hmm. type management. Okay. But they also have their real estate licenses. And so their licenses are underneath me. A full-time lab designer in there, and he's got his real estate license too. So he does... I don't know, probably six, seven, eight deals a year. A commercial uh, management firm also. Uh, that's Advantage Osborne. So Mike Osborne, one of the partners with us, um, he's, he, he manages over a million square feet of commercial buildings. Wow. So we get, you know, we get to do the leasing on all those properties also. So it's, so we got the, the residential management and we've got the commercial management end. And then we have a gentleman um, at the end of our suite down here, uh, Todd Jindra, who's a general contractor. Set ourselves up to be kind of a one-stop type of place here. They don't have to use all of our things. It's kind of a smorgasbord of what they can use. You know, we also have another gentleman here. He's a full-time house appraiser. Most appraisers these days work directly for banks. And so he works, I believe he's with U.S bank is who he primarily does most of his work for but it's again it's really really nice when we're you know we're looking at how do we put together a broker opinion of value on some kind of property or on trying to consolidate you know on trying to bring five six properties together to tear them down to build a new apartment building mm -hmm. we could go to him and make sure that we're not way out of line on our pricing that we're willing to offer. 
and things like that. So it's, it is it is kind of a unique setup. There is no, I can't think of another brokerage, commercial brokerage that's set up like this in any way. That's, that's, that's I mean, that's the big uniqueness to us. The other thing, most of us have all worked for nationally tagged um, real estate companies like Collier's, uh, Newmark Grubb, you know, Madison is such a unique market. It's very, very hard for nationally tagged uh, commercial brokerages to m make money because <clears throat> it's not like any place else in the state where you have all this outside business that's trying to, to come in. What normally ends up happening is we're actually doing most of the work for businesses here that are looking to go outside of the area. And so we're pushing work out to, you know, the national tag, but we're getting absolutely nothing in return. I'll just tell you what, what I've seen in the past and what we see now is it's kind of the same. We've watched the interest rates. They didn't just creep up. They, as you know, they came, they've hit us hard. Um, and it's brought a lot of deals to a screeching halt. I, I, I think people are, we're kind of frozen right now in investment sales and things like that because it's just the numbers don't make sense anymore. There's a dis, disconnect between sellers, what they think their, pro, their property is worth. And if somebody has to, a buyer comes in and needs to finance that, and he's borrowing money at 7% now, and this guy thinks his, his property is worth a six cap, kind of have a he's underwater right away if you if you agree to it so it's going to be a situation like what took place back in 08 09 10 where it's going to take sellers a year or so to come to reality that their pricing is just a little too uh, too aggressive for the current conditions and granted it, it happens so darn fast